Jordan, can you tell me your initial reaction when you first found out the good news? Absolutely. So honestly, I was ecstatic. Um, not too many people get this opportunity, and the fact that I'm able to represent my illustrious HBCU is a blessing in itself. So I'm just ready for the next step of it, honestly. Basically what we'll be doing, um, we'll be an ambassador for our university. So we'll be working with the White House hand in hand. We'll um, definitely um, network with other HBCUs. We're just trying to make our establishments and our schools 10 times better than what they already are. Um, that's why we're getting help from the education department in the White House. So that's why we're working hand in hand over the summer now. And then once we go to the HBCU conference, we'll be able to really fully network with them in person to get those changes done. I'm a forensic biology major at Delaware State and a minor in forensic science. So with that being said, um, I would like to be a federal forensic investigator on the next level. Um, at DSU, it's been an issue with some forensic courses. A lot of students that are forensic bio majors have had classes that are dropped because of just not having enough professors or just not having the adequate money to get what we need. But now that being a White House scholar, I'm able to really help Delaware State to bring more light to the forensic science program because I feel like as a master's degree, we should be able to get a forensic science degree. Being one of the best uh, contemporary HBCUs in the country, um, we should be able to have a v wide, diverse uh, area of master's programs. So my goal is to help get a master's program for forensic science at Delaware State so I can help fellow forensic students to get to where they want to be and achieve their goals.